99% of all internet traffic that is from this video to your PUBG game, to your family WhatsApp group, Instagram, your shopping website, your video calls, your Netflix, Prime, Spotify, all run on some sort of data. But are you carrying a wired device in order to access this internet? No, right? So where is this magic happening? In the air? No, it's happening all underwater. Your internet runs on a hidden network of undersea cables. In today's modern life, we are dependent on tons of wires that we don't even know about. These wires also get attacked by sharks from time to time, but we'll get to that later. First, let's see how the internet works. In simpler words, the internet is a global interconnected collection of networks that communicates using internet protocols. You can think of it as a network of networks connected to each other. Now, the internet you use to watch all the trending reels on Instagram consists of tiny bits of code that move around the world, traveling along wires as thin as a strand of air strung across the ocean floor. The data zips from New York to Bangalore, from China to London, in the time it takes you to read this word. Let's talk a little about these cables. Did you know nearly 7,50,000 miles of cable connect to continents to support our insatiable demand for communication and entertainment? Tech giants and governments have pooled their resources to collaborate on undersea cable projects, which will be a free way for all of them to share. Before I get into more detail about how these cables are manufactured and used, here's a fun fact for you. The first transatlantic cable was completed in 1858 to connect the United States and Britain. Queen Victoria commentated the occasion with a message to President James Buchanan that took 16 hours to transmit. We've come a long way from 16 hours to maybe 0.06 seconds today. Coming back, do you know what a garden hose looks like? Here's a picture. This is exactly what is stored underwater wrapped in copper casing that carries electricity across the line to keep the data moving. Now imagine you sent a cat meme to your friend on WhatsApp. How does it reach the other person? Here's the science behind it. Now to state the obvious, not everyone lives around the ocean, right? In order to provide internet connectivity to everyone, these huge underwater cables have uninterrupted connection through a network of different cables, which are called landing stations, which then extend to internet lines that we get at home. Remember modems or through tech that exists inside our smartphones. While love might be in the air, but your internet to express that is definitely underwater. A year of planning goes into charting a cable route that avoids underwater hazards. The cables still have to withstand heavy currents, rock slides, earthquakes and interference from fishing trawlers. Now, each cable is expected to last up to 25 years. These wires are taken into the ocean via ships that carry more than 4,000 miles of cable weighing about 3,500 metric tons when fully loaded. Inside the ship, workers spool the cable in huge tanks. To better understand how this works, here are some clips for you. One person walks the cable swiftly in a circle as if laying out a massive garden hose, while others are lie down to hold it in a place to ensure it doesn't snag or not. Then the cables are taken to the ocean and laid down on the ocean bed across thousands of miles. Now coming to India, these cables coming from various parts of the world connect near our coast. India as of now has a total of five landing stations. While you keep sending silly memes, stock trading, online banking and replying to emails on a boring office day, sometimes these wires also get damaged and hacked. In 2013, three scuba divers were caught trying to cut an undersea internet cable in the Mediterranean, which slowed down the internet for about a week. Here you can see how sharks are trying to butt the cables. However, they are not seen as a major threat to the internet. Human activity alone accounts for about two-thirds of the damages to the cables. Yet, when was the last time you remember that there was an internet outage all over India or even your state? Not really, right? Because these cables have backup and other backups to keep your internet always working. 
Currently, big tech giants are funding these underwater operations such as Meta, Google, Microsoft, and Amazon. In fact, demand for undersea cables will only grow as more businesses rely on cloud computing services. And technology expected around the corner, like more powerful artificial intelligence and driverless cars, will all require fast data speeds as well. Areas that did not have internet are now getting access. The United Nations also reported for the first time that more than half of the global population is now online. Are you guys still rolling? I'm done guys. Happy surfing across the internet.